The play is set in a sandwich shop on Hollywood Boulevard, where Ida nurses a soda. There you are, I've been waiting for over an hour. Couldn't be helped. What happened? My schedule got all jammed up. Okay, how'd that happen? The impossible happened. I had an audition. <laughs> you had an audition? <laughs> yeah, my agent calls me once every year to make sure her phone is still working. Well, an audition for TV? No, a movie. And it's a big one. Oh, what kind of character was it? A what? What kind of character were you auditioning for? A dead body. <laughs> what? A dead body. In this movie, the lead finds a dead body. Uh, you know, someone who doesn't move. Aha. Uh -huh. Someone who has assumed room temperature. Well, you would be very good in a role like that. You think? Yeah, you're one of the slowest moving people I know. Thank you. You know when I saw you walking down the street? Yeah. I thought you were standing still. Thank you. Your body moves. Yes. Like a statue. It comes naturally. You know when we go to the movies? Yeah. Uh, sometimes I check to see if you're still breathing. It's how I fly, baby. Well, this is exciting news. Okay, who was the casting director? Lois Felcher. Oh my God, Lois Felcher. <laughs> Oh, she's so big time, very powerful. Also has a good rep and the big studios go to her all the time. I know. Oh, wow, Lois Felcher. Okay, how does something like this go? I mean, how do you audition for a dead body? Well, mostly it involves yeah. being very still. Not moving. Exactly. You really thought this out. Oh, what can I tell you? I'm a method actor. I studied with Lee. Lee Strasberg? No, Lee Berkowitz. Just as good. Oh, well, what did you actually do? No, so I got on the floor. And? And I didn't move. Oh, good choice. Thank you. Then what? Lois and some other people helped me get up again. Okay, what did she say? Lois said it shoots tomorrow. Uh-huh. So there would be no callbacks. Okay. And she was going with someone else. Damn, she did she at least tell you why? Yes, Lois said she wanted someone who was a little more bubbly. Bubbly? <laughs> the guy is dead. I know. She has lost her mind. She has no idea what she's doing. What a bitch. I know. I hate her. Everyone does. Little weasel with lipstick. Yeah. Two-timing backstabber. Total phony. A monster in high heels. The most hated woman in Hollywood. Bubbly. I don't believe it. Neither did I. How in the hell could a dead guy be bubbly? Ah, oh, casting directors. They get this thing in their head and nothing will erase it. Unbelievable. I mean, did she tell you you got the part? No, but I think it was Ivan Sharansky. Wait, was he there? No, but I saw Ivan had signed in two hours before me. Yeah, they probably went with him. Yeah. Dead bodies are Ivan Sharansky's thing. He's just numero uno. Ivan's the Jackie Robinson of dead bodies. Ivan's license plate says dead guy. He has his gravestone on his front lawn. His phone message says, oh, sorry, I can't come to the phone right now. I'm dead. The man invented the open eye stare, the body in a bathtub, the dead guy hanging upside down. And then dead guy in a swamp, and dead in a garbage can, and dead inside a vending machine. He's very versatile. You know at Metro, Ivan once stayed in a master shot for three minutes and didn't breathe once. How in the hell did he do that? He passed out. <laughs> oh, the man is committed to his craft. Casting people, producers, directors, when they think dead body, they think Ivan Sharansky. I know. And yet... Yeah? I want you to know I hesitate saying this, okay? Uh, go on. Because I don't like to gossip or judge people. Oh, please. We're in show business. All we do is gossip and judge people. <laughs> it's just that Ivan has played dead bodies and maybe 
100 movies. And you got to admit, over the years, his work's gotten a little stale. You know what? What? I have to agree with you. Oh, and not just because I probably lost a role to Ivan, but sometimes when I see his work, I tell myself, I'm sorry, Ivan. I've seen that body before. Yeah, you know his dead body in that Western Silver Six Guns? Sure. There was no difference between that and the one he did in Manhattan Murder. You're not the first one to mention it. <sighs> <sighs> this one was tough to take, Ida. To lie on the floor and be told someone else did it better. I think I'm going to call it quits. Oh, no, no, no. Carl, don't say that, okay? One bad audition. It's not worth it. You're a great actor. Oh, 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 hold on. Hello? Yes, this is him. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, that's horrible. Just terrible. I'm so sorry to hear. What a shock. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, I think I can. Uh, let me check. Uh, uh, hold on. It looks like I can. Yes, eight o'clock. Yes, I'll be there. And thank you. Oh, sorry to hear the horrible news. What was that all about? That was Lois Felcher. Ivan Sharansky dropped dead. When? About an hour after he auditioned. Oh my God. Wait, was he ill? Not that I know of. I mean, maybe when he auditioned, he exerted himself too much. <laughs> Could have. Got down on the floor too fast. Got up too fast. And now the role he played all his life? Is a role he will play forever. <sighs> so sad. Very sad. Lo Lois said she only had one second choice, and it was me. Oh my god, God bless her! She's fantastic. <laughs> Incredible! Lovely woman. Attractive, too. Classy. Very bright. <laughs> and insightful. Slightly rude. At times. Yeah, she has to be, though. I know. She's a woman in a male-dominated industry. Of course! But she can't let them push her around. I work tomorrow. That's fantastic. Pays big money. Well, big films always do. And no dialogue to memorize. Dead guy. <laughs> Dead guy. Oh, and get this. Lois says there's a morgue scene. She talked them into using me for that as well. Oh, another day of work. Yes. <laughs> and Lois talked them into that? That's what she said. Oh, God bless her. She's fantastic. I love her. <laughs> yeah. Okay, when you see her, uh -huh. will you tell her I think she's terrific and if she's casting any roles that I write, might be right I for her? I will. <laughs> Gonna celebrate and buy us a sandwich. Six inch? Twelve inch! Wow, when you celebrate, you go all out! <laughs> it's how I fly. Hey, Carl. Yeah? This could be the start of something. You think? Yeah. You could become the next Ivan Sharansky. It makes my head spin. <laughs>